Welcome to the Crazy Town Podcast. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Don. I'm Mike the Explosive One. Let's crack into another one. TNT, I sent you this ahead of time because I know how you feel about practical use cases for NFTs. I don't know what that means. I sent you a thing, <laughs> a screenshot. It said someone just took a fourteen point five thousand dollar loan. Yeah, I read that on two Rolexes at twelve percent interest from a complete stranger on the blockchain. All right, that's a lot of numbers. So, so how far. it works? Go go slower so I can understand. So the okay, numbers. so you need you need fourteen and a half thousand dollars. I need fourteen thousand dollars right now. Get yeah. it. Put it in my hand. How do you I have get two it? Rolexes. I, why do I? How do I have Rolexes? Because you own them. I don't own Rolexes. You told me this guy took a loan out to get the Rolexes. No, he put took a loan out against the Rolexes. Oh, okay. Well, okay. Fine. So he needs money. So what he does, how this works, okay. I have $14,000. I don't know you, but I have it. Yeah. And I'm like, I'm willing to give anyone a loan that can put up collateral okay. at 12% interest. So what you do is you use an escrow company. Oh my god. You send <laughs> you send I don't know why this is funny. This is actual a true use case. <laughs> All right, I mean go You go send ahead, the Rolexes ahead. to the escrow company. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh -huh, okay. They okay. hold them. Yeah. As a middleman. Uh-huh. I <laughs> Yes. Get two NFT tokens okay. that are worth one Rolex a piece. Sure. If you don't pay me. I trade the tokens into the escrow company for the Rolexes. They send me the Rolexes. Uh -huh. So I imagine the Rolexes are worth more than $14,000 yes. plus 12% interest. Yes, Rolexes tend to be worth more than $14,000. Yeah, so, so like, you and this was done on chain to complete strangers. I, so, look, okay, here, mm, ah, mm, he. Would you rather have oh. borrow it from, like, me or some uh, a bank? I, I mean, I honestly, the bank, because it seems like a lot of bullshit. All right, so here, here's my only thing, is that deals like this have been going on since the beginning of time. Right. You're not wrong. I feel like it's like, uh, okay, so for me, it's like, okay, so I understand the purpose of marriage, right? But on the same note, that's a whole other episode. No, Let's no, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm just, I'm, it's a, it's a, it's an euphemism. ancillary. Yeah, it's a yeah. euphemism. I don't know if that. Uh, either, anyways, either, it's a metaphor. Either way, um, so I understand the purpose of marriage, but I don't feel that a marriage certificate is necessarily necessary to live the rest of your life happily together. I agree with that. So when you say like. Okay, I can put my Rolexes on the blockchain. I'm like, my dude, people have been making these trades for years without that necessarily being. But this a is thing. but this allows private citizens to give out personal loans without risk. And I give you that. And uh, like I, I don't know if it's just like the, the system seems off putting. Maybe it's when you started using acronyms and shit. It it just it, it, it turned my stuff. And this is me come I'm just a regular guy. So I want you a boomer to boomer is what you, it sounds like. I'm just a regular guy and I honestly I feel like the majority of, of millennials and zoomers feel similarly about this. Right. Because I'm in I'm in touch with the streets. I want you to sell it i do because honestly i'm on your side but we we gotta be we gotta if be. i had the type of money to loan out to folks yeah. i at doing this it it's way easier than trying to like go to a bank because if somebody's willing to put up some rollies against my 14k they default i'm just like here's my i got the rollies sell the rollies got my money <laughs> it seems like it seems dangerous though how I don't know how. What's dangerous, dangerous about it? It seems like it seems kind of shady, right? How? If somebody comes like, "Yo, I got these Rolexes. You got fourteen thousand dollars." That's like, that's how. The, that's why the escrow company is involved. They hold the asset. They va they verify the value of the asset. They're liable for the asset yeah. while it's in the thing. They're just the middleman being like, "Hey, if homeboy defaults on his loan, we got his collateral. Trade us the NFTs. Here comes the the watches." I don't know if it just disgusts me when you start <laughs> talking about financial stuff. Like it just makes it just turns my. I stomach guess out. so. I'm just a normal guy too. This is me speaking from a normal guy. You were all in on tokenized property my, for rent. Look, my real my real name. That guy, the guy on my birth certificate. He's like, yeah, Jonas, talk that ish. 
TNT Dynamite is like, nah, fuck that ish. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so right. I'm gonna let you know that that's TNT Dynamite. Government name is like, oh, I get it. <laughs> yeah, government name is like, oh, that's cool, whatever. TNT Dynamite is like, nah, bro, you can't, you can't. I'm not getting on board with this. It sounds like a, it sounds like a scam. They're already coming at crypto, which you were, which a lot of people were pushing. They have already gone on to. I think there's lawsuits against Jimmy Fallon for his uh, participation. The pump, the pump and dump with the uh, with the board apes. He had it to a point where he was like talking about it on the show and trying to get. And I'm sure other people may have made a purchase. So like it does not. And there's been so many well, but here's rug the th- pulls and pump and dumps. Like people do not have a good view of the NFT and crypto realm. Crypto bro is literally a slur. It's a, it's actually funny that um you brought that up because I was watching something today and uh. It's about like what I've been talking about, like video game assets being like, uh, being like where you own them and you can like sell the skins and whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he, they were talking to the guy and interviewing him. He's like, yeah, and like so what you do is like you know, you you own the game is free. You own the the and somebody was like NFTs and he goes, oh no, that's a four letter word. He goes, they're gonna start being referred to as digital assets because when people hear NFT, they think scam. But then if they're like, oh, your digital assets, that makes sense. It is a digital asset. It's like it's something of value that's digital. It's like a digital Pokemon card that you could sell, right, or whatever. Mm-hmm. Um, it so, would be like that old Magic the Gathering game online where you had to buy packs of cards and whatever. If mm-hmm. you could then have, like, owned those digitally and sold them to your friends and stuff. So, bro, like I said, Diablo. Diablo 2, I played that game. Marketplace. Uh, the marketplace for Diablo mm-hmm. 2, where you could buy SOJs and shackles with two sockets, ethrals. Think I don't know what I'm talking uh, about. I mean, they that really had beautiful. their time, dude. Yeah, that was a beautiful system, and people loved it. People loved it, and there's actually people who made money doing that stuff. If you were, oh yeah, what's that crazy game? Crazy enough uh, to like just farm Diablo two all day. The, um, what's that space game that has like ridic- it's ridiculous, and people there's whole big economies, and people wage wars on other. Co- it's like a um, it has its own economy. God damn it, what's the name of it? I don't know, man. That's uh. <laughs> I would know it if you said it. I and it's on the tip of my tongue. Uh, Dick. On. Yeah, yeah. Tell me some more reasons why you don't believe it. <laughs> no, you said it was on the tip of your tongue. All right. Uh, yeah. I don't know. So yeah, th- that's a hundred percent true. I feel like it is a four letter word. Like you start talking about that stuff, people are just like, "Bro, come on." I'm not. I'm not judging. Like you try to scam me, and it's because people have tainted it, and like it. It may be. In its in its nature, it may be like a, an altruistic type of ideal, and honestly, I think that the, having the option for like the every man to have access to being able to sell assets that we might not have been able to sell prior is a good idea. It's just like there's got there's going to be some trepidation, man, and rightfully so because people don't want to be taken. And honestly, yeah. We should preach is that people should do their research before they get involved with anything. Oh no, of I that agree. Nature. I have a couple things to say. One, first, the game's called Eve Online. Okay, it's been sure. around forever. Sure. Two, um, the second thing is like whenever it comes to anything financial, like crypto stocks, you shouldn't buy the things people are telling you to buy. You <laughs> need to do your own. You need to do your own research about the use case and its like plausibility. But no, what what how it's going to end up catching on is. Yeah, the term NFT, crypto wallet, That's it's all one. just going to be hidden under a layer. Yeah, it's it's going to be hidden under a different term. You're just, yeah, you're, you're going to log into your Fortnite account. Nothing's going to look any different to you, but mm-hmm. there's going to be a crypto wallet attached. Those skins are going to be effing NFTs, and you're going to buy them and sell them and do whatever. And you're just going to be like, oh, it's so cool. I can, I can just click a button and sell my Fortnite skin. But really, you're yeah. buying an NFT on the blockchain in your crypto wallet, and you're not even going to know that that's what's happening. And look, and look, I'm 100% fine with the system being integrated into daily life, but I'm not 100% fine with, with these uh, acronyms. I never want to hear them again. I never want to hear them again. You know what's, really, again. You know what's again. really funny? is what's You're that? the man who wants a computer implanted into his brain, and you're like, NFT, oh, get yo. the F out. <laughs> yo, I didn't even tell you. I signed up. Did you? I did. I went on the website next, and next I signed up. I gave him all of my medical come, information. Come in tomorrow and we'll talk about this. No, I'm not. No, we're not talking. It's, it's nothing that exciting. But I did sign. You up. Signed up for the. Beyond I the- did sign. It's not that exciting. It was. A, it was a questionnaire. I mean, I can talk about it briefly. We could. Yeah, anyway. Well, yeah, I want to hear on about the it. next one. All right, that's all the time we have today. Go to thecrazytown.com for Jonas. TNT. Uh, we out. <laughs>